Well, welcome to the next vlog. Um, I'm trying to export my vlog number one. Uh, so we're picking up right where we left off, basically. And I'm trying to export my video. Missed one little detail, so I had to re-export it. And then we lost power. Only for like a minute, but we lost power. So now I gotta restart the export again for the third time. It's like I'm destined to not have a video for Thursday. Um, power just cut out for the third time now. And the second time it cut out, it cut off my exporting of my video again. So, yeah, it's not looking great. And it's out again. Okay. I should be back on in a second. There we go. It's been doing this for the past two hours. I can't export my video. Another gloomy day here at Edible. It is, it is gloomy out today. It keeps raining on and off. I'm just waiting for more deliveries. I'm too fast at my job. I get back to the shop and they gotta catch up. Get more stuff out. Hi. Well, I had to wake up super early this morning to finish exporting my vlog video and upload it to the channel, uh, all before I had to go into work for the day. Uh, yeah, my power kept cutting in and out all night. All night. I don't think it got turned back on to like 6 a.m. or something like that. So uh, it's pretty, pretty crazy how bad the vlog didn't want to end up on the channel, I guess. But uh, people seem to be liking it uh, today. So everybody's jumping on it. Views are decent and uh, people seem to be liking it. So I've been getting a lot of good comments. So I appreciate it. Appreciate the support behind it. And I definitely want to keep testing it out and uh, doing more of them. Um, let me know what you guys think of how often I should post them. Should I do like once a week? Uh, should I do twice a week or once a month? I don't know yet. Uh, I'll probably do one more next week uh, and try to look for responses and stuff to see what you guys think. But uh, I definitely had fun with the first one and I enjoyed it. So it was uh, cool and something new to do and something new to edit. So uh, thanks again for the support. So that was one thing when I was editing my first vlog, all this looked pretty bad. So I think I'm gonna shave. I think I'm gonna shave this a little bit. It's a little better. I think that looks a little bit cleaner. What'd you do? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm editing the new Call of Duty video that uh, should be out the Saturday after vlog number one. Every time I watch this clip, I'm, I just die. It's so freaking funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out because there's some pretty funny moments in it. So a little insight into how I edit. Um, I use Shotcut, which is a free to use program uh, for video editing. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty simple. You can see here, I'm uh, scrubbing through some clips, uh, trying to find where I need to cut and stuff. But uh, it's, a, it's a nice, uh, little nice video editing thing for being a free software. Can't do everything and it's not perfect on some things, but uh, it's better than paying for Adobe Premiere at this point right now or learning a whole new program. So this is what I use every week. A little look into how I kind of edit. Kind of just scrub through, uh, look at any of the drop points where there's no uh, sound being made. Uh, the waveform on the video itself is really helpful for that. Uh, so I'll just look at the waveform, the audio waveform, and kind of look for lulls in talking or, or gun firing. And then I'll snip that out and try to break it down even further uh, to make a more concise video. This is like a 20, 20 minute game that I want to try to cut down to like five, six minutes. So we're just going through the ending here. So yeah, nice skip right there. We don't need any of that. I'm going to watch the roof of the building. 
there still. Yeah, we're on Mars. Yeah, I'll be still up there. Right. See, that's a good part that I want to try to keep in just for content sake, as far as context sake, uh, as far as how the game went down. So we're calling people out. Uh, so sometimes I'll leave and like call outs, things like that. We're coming down to the end, so we're about to light up on the waveform here. You can see this is all going to be the end, uh, the end circle, basically. There's still a lot of people left, guys. Oh, yeah, you can get closer to us. Hang out a little bit. Yeah. And then you can see Paul stops talking, so I'll cut there. Make another cut. Eliminate this part. Keep going like that. Got it down to roughly seven minutes for the game. Uh, and then I'm going to have another interruption clip, which is right here, which I've got to edit through, uh, that'll lead into, like, the second match. I'm going to go onto my PlayStation and grab that match and then throw it on here as well and start editing that. One of the funniest things about editing these Call of Duty videos is just how slow we are to respond to each other. There will literally be times where we'll, like, ask people, ask each other a question or something, and we'll be like, hey, did you go get that self-revive kit? Yeah. Cool. Let's go over here now. Like, <laughs> there's so much dead air when I have to edit. <laughs> so sometimes there's these whole conversations I have to get clipped down that are like a full minute long just for like a little five second clip of us talking and just not responding with dead air forever. <laughs> We're just focused on the game, that's it, all right? We're just focused on the game too much. Just finished editing it. It's a little longer than I wanted it to be. Ended up being like 17 minutes, but uh, I put another win in there, so it was a whole nother gameplay I had to edit down, and it was a bit of a slower game. I cut a ton. Uh, so yeah, now we're gonna export this sucker out and wait for it to finish up and start working on the thumbnail and get this thing uploaded. A little insight into how I do my thumbnails. I use canva.com. I've been using this thing for over 10 years now. It is freaking fantastic. It's so easy to use and uh, there's lots of ways to use it. Uh, it doesn't have the best text, so I actually go to a different source for my text. I go to flamingtext.com. Uh, I don't know why it has a weird WW in it, but uh, it's like www.flamingtext.com. I don't know. It's a great site, though, for making like better text. I've upgraded on that. And then I bring over the PNG to um, Canva, along with any of my uh, pictures and stuff. I usually just Google pictures. You can see here I've got a ton a ton of stuff that I go through for thumbnails I've just got mounds of uploads and stuff that I have uh, to make a nice thumbnail so this is one of my favorite parts of doing the uploads is creating the thumbnail I have a lot of fun with these I'll put a link in the description for all the stuff I use canva.com flaming text and like shotcut if anybody wants to use those programs I definitely suggest canvas uh, canva super good so I'm getting ready to play some black ops cold war beta and a couple of friends are jumping on and we're trying to get our one buddy to jump on who uh doesn't really get on as much as he should <laughs> or uh promises to get on and then doesn't uh it's that friend so i'm gonna give him a call and see if we can convince him to get on tonight uh, i don't know if i'll be able to do it while recording but we'll see how it goes hello no one is available to take your call please leave a message after the tone he ended up getting on. It's all good. day so we got a lot of deliveries today this is one of the holidays for edible uh, so we're doing all this driving uh, out in the boondocks right now out here yeah it's beautiful out here though all these fall colors i like taking these drives out here on a normal day but today since it's like crunch time and we're trying to make all these deliveries it's a little 
bit of a pain in the butt to do like a half hour drive to just some random house out in the middle of nowhere. I don't like doing this uh, while I'm driving or anything really, but it, I'm just on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, so I figured I'd record really quick, but I gotta pull my map back up and find out where I'm going, so. Just heading home from the work day. It was pretty quick actually for a holiday. Uh, we got done with all those deliveries really quickly. Uh, so now I'm gonna go relax with my wife, get some ice cream for sweetest day for her, and chill, maybe watch a movie or something, and uh, I also gotta figure out a video for Sunday's uh, booster cracking, so I'm debating on the Crazy Bones video. I've been putting it off a lot, because I really wanna get a good video going for it, and maybe try to do something different with a couple different camera angles. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, because the Crazy Bone videos on my channel are actually some of my most highly viewed videos. Uh, I think one of them has like almost 8,000 views. Another one is like six, 5,000. So people really dug the Crazy Bone ones. And so I want to make uh, these videos count uh, since I've got a couple boxes. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how I want to dip my feet into it yet. So I've been a little intimidated to get started on actually filming it. So we'll see if I commit this week or not. If not, I'll do or some well opening or something like that, which I always have fun with, so we'll see. Got the ice cream, ready to go chill for the evening. I forgot I had magic cards in my car. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sunday and I didn't get my Sunday booster cracking video done because uh, I put it off a little bit and then I slept in so now it's like 11 o'clock on Sunday and I don't have my video ready yet so it's probably gonna be late um, and I still don't know what I'm gonna open at this point probably won't be the Go-Go's Crazy Bones. It'll probably just be something simple with the force of will that I can open, but I gotta get set up and try to figure this out. I think I'm gonna do Echoes of the New World. It's an older set, so there's probably not gonna be a lot of value here, uh, but there is a couple cards that I do wanna pull, like a, one of the zero cards in here is really cool. And I haven't opened this set yet, so I think it'll be a good fit. And uh, yeah, we were talking about it on the last couple live streams I had for Force of Will. We did live stream unboxings, uh, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, we we're going over this one and Advent of the Demon King. Um, but I've already opened up Advent of the Demon King, so I'm thinking I'm going to wait on that one and do Echoes of the New World since I haven't opened the set yet. I need a new camera stand so I can have my phone set up and this light set up above. I had a couple ways that were working decently, but those ways have disappeared now. So I have to find new ways to assemble this and hook this up so I can have good lighting on the cards while having my camera on this tripod. There we go. This goes right on in front. It's a little crooked. Another thing that I really need to get is this is the stand I use for my microphone. And it is just... It works fine, but I really want to upgrade my microphone system for streaming and video recording to where I have more of like a boom mic and a stand uh, that I can bring down on like a, one of those systems, what do you call them? Mic stand systems that you can pull down and move and get out of your way. That way I don't have to set this up every time. And plus also, whoop. I always have to switch back and forth in between these, which is not a big deal, but it's kind of annoying because like your lighting isn't as consistent because you have to set it up like a new way each time. It doesn't always look the best. It doesn't give me the best lighting. There we go and light. Time to start recording for the day. Just finished recording and editing the Force of Will unboxing for Sunday. And man, it was a mess because my voice was going. Uh, so that was no fun. Had to edit around me clearing my throat the whole time. Uh, so that was, that was a, a blast. Time to upload in a second, and then uh, got a day of recording to do for the rest of the week. 
Magic the Gathering, something for Tuesday, or Magic the Gathering. Uh, I think I'm going to start editing the vlog for Thursday, but I'm not quite done with it yet because I want to go a few more days. And yeah, rinse and repeat. Oh man, it's been a long day of recording uh, Magic the Gathering videos and stuff, and uh, I've been trying to figure out a video for Tuesday. And I started playing Genshin Impact, uh, a game that I would want to try out, but not on the fence on because I don't feel like I have the time to commit to it because it is an MMORPG uh, or just an RPG type game. I believe it's multiplayer online. I don't know. But uh, a lot of times uh, I would like to get invested in those games, but the grind is just too much and I don't have time for that right now. And it's not always the easiest to make content out of those unless you're like streaming the game and just playing for hours. I feel like uh, so I'm gonna try to see it see how it works out but I started it up and my scuff Xbox controller doesn't totally work with it. it's uh, missing two buttons so I got to figure out what to do uh, but it's late and I'm tired so I think I'm gonna put it off at night and uh, work on it again uh, tomorrow evening for Tuesday's video hopefully hopefully unless I come up with something else we'll see I guess but we'll see it's Tuesday and I still didn't figure out Genshin Impact but I did remember uh, from some YouTube ads that the Doom Eternal Ancient Gods DLC comes out on the 20th, which is today. And I totally didn't realize. So that's going to be my upload for today. So I'm downloading it now and uh, going to upload it as quickly as possible. Uh, it's going to be another late upload. I've been doing those a lot lately, but a lot of last minute stuff uh, happening here. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to play this thing and play this new DLC. Uh, it looks like it's free, which is even better. Well, you do have to pay for it, which is no big deal. I was going to buy it anyways. I was planning on purchasing it and paying for it. Um, and I thought maybe there was a chance that it could be free, but it's it's not free, but there's an issue. Steam is being weird, and it says I already own the game, but I do not, and it's not allowing me to purchase it, which I guess there's been a bunch of issues with the DLC coming out today, even with consoles. Uh, a lot of people are already having difficulties downloading it and stuff, and it doesn't look like there's a fix for it yet, so I'm gonna keep trying. I'm looking on Steam forums right now. Seems like other people are having the same issue. Nobody has a, a fix yet. Oh man, I'm getting worried. I don't know if it's gonna happen today. This might be something that they don't fix for, for a day or something. I already placed a ticket with Steam, but uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling too good about this. But in other news, The Haunting of Verdansk came out today for Warzone, and that looks to be a lot of fun. So I might try to play that later today with the buds and uh, have some fun on there and hopefully get some good footage for uh, a Call of Duty video. Just got done sending out that uh, package for my subscriber. Uh, it took me a few days to get it sent out, and I'm crossing my fingers that it gets to them. Um, I've never sent it internationally before, and I'm a bit nervous about it isn't it it is expensive too but i finally sent it out so it's on its way hopefully you'll already have a message by the time you see this but uh yeah on to get uh, an oil change while i'm waiting for the doom eternal stuff to get figured out get a couple chores done and hopefully have that video out by the end of the day <laughs> It's never easy when you're doing car stuff. It's it's never something simple. I guess I had an oil leak, so they had to put stuff in the car to try to fix that. And there was a headlight out, which they tried to replace, but couldn't replace. So now I gotta bring it into the dealership. And I gotta fix that oil leak. And then I go to leave and they forgot to screw something on, so I'm dumping oil everywhere as soon as I leave, and they're like, stop, 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 come back in, and they have to fill up my oil tank again. It's just, it's never an easy trip to get a car thing fixed. It's ridiculous. All right, I think, uh, I think I got this stupid DLC working now, so it's almost four o'clock, and I still have to film a video for today, uh, but it's gonna get done. I've been hearing people go off about how fun it is, uh, so hopefully it loads up and starts working this time. Come on. All the way. Now do the pull up. There you go. And let go. And pull up. Oh yeah. Nice. Do it again. Oh yeah. Nice dude.
Now I can hug you. Now Got a little walk to the gas station with my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. This is where I go every week to get all my energy drinks and stuff, and uh, bigger. Good opportunity to close out the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna head back and start up a new week, possibly start uh, filming some more. And yeah, I appreciate the support. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go get some more.